Seahawk fans, what's going on? This is Michael Bumpers with another film session powered by Microsoft Surface. Let's take a look at the week four opponents, the Miami Dolphins. Okay, when we talk about this Miami Dolphins offense, you got to highlight Devontae Parker. He is their best receiver, coming off a 1,000 yards receiving last year. He's not the fastest receiver, but he's fast enough. He's 6'3", 216 pounds. He plays inside. He plays outside. Super versatile. Let's check out this matchup right here. One-on-one -on -one matchup. One high safety. He is going to run a post. His main objective here is to get inside off of the line of scrimmage. Why? Because he has an in-breaking route. When you get inside, you make your life easier as a receiver. Let's line him up. Gets inside. Once he gets inside, you notice that DB tries to put his hand on him. He brushes him off and maintains his leverage. When the DB tries to get his hands on you, he's trying to reroute you. 6'3", 216, that's not going to happen. Hits the post. Fitzpatrick just throws the ball on the strike. Now, like I said, he's not the fastest guy. But if you throw the ball anywhere within his range, he's going to come down with that football. Okay, right here, Devontae Parker is going to run a comeback. I mentioned it a couple weeks ago. When a quarterback starts rolling to one side of the field, typically that play side receiver is going to run a comeback to give him an option. Now, again, Parker not the fastest, but he's great at the top of his route, creating separation. Fitzpatrick rolls out here. Now, in the middle of this route, the middle of the route, Devontae Parker kind of gives it away that something's happening. He gets high with his pad level. A guy like Shaquille Griffin, a guy like Quentin Dunbar, they should feel that and know that something's happening. But what he does do a great job is using his hands at the top of the route to create separation. Up a route, separation, easy money. Now, let's look at the end zone. Fitzpatrick is a tough guy. He knows he's about to get hit right here. He's rolling out, but he commits to his throw, lets it go, gets hit in the mouth, but he gets back up. Boom, good catch. Expect to see that a lot against the Seahawks. This is what I call a sell concept. You got your guy in the slot, tight end Mike Jasicki. You got Devontae Parker on the outside. Guy on the inside is gonna run a corner. Guy on the outside is gonna run a post. When you're playing against a cover three defense, you should never throw the corner against that. But Fitzpatrick takes a chance and throws it to Jasicki. Great release there off that linebacker. Jasicki moves him, gets vertical. Now he's throwing the corner. He's throwing the corner right to that cornerback. What helps this play happen is that this corner takes a false step and he rides that post. Fitzpatrick takes a chance. There's no way he should throw this football. This is why I'm optimistic that this Seahawks defense can get some turnovers this week because Fitzpatrick is going to force some things just like here. Forces it, bad step by the corner. He just stays in his deep thirds, pass off that post. He probably makes this play. Now let's check out the end zone. Now, people talk about this Seahawks defense is how they're not getting after the quarterback. They're not sacking them. But they have 18 quarterback hits this year. That's top five in the NFL. So they may not be getting the sacks, but they're getting the pressures. If they can get to the quarterback, Fitzpatrick, and use their ability to get after the quarterback and make them get some air and throws, I feel like they're going to be a lot more turnovers this week. Right here, we see that if you get pressure, he'll make a mistake. Throw to a zone he's not supposed to throw to. Trying to be special. It happened for him that time. Okay, right now we're going to see the Miami Dolphins bring some pressure. They blitz 33% of the time. That's eighth in the NFL. I expect them to do the same against the Seattle Seahawks. What we see here is the numbers game. You got an empty formation. That means there's no running back in the backfield. So we know that Upati is banged up. Damian Lewis might not play. So you're going to have a couple new guys on this offensive line. What do you do? You make them communicate and hope that they make mistakes. That's what the Jags did here. Made a mistake. So you got five offensive linemen. Looks like that Miami Dolphins are bringing six guys. Somebody should be free. Bring the pressure. One guy gets loose. Confuse that offensive line. Make them communicate. Right here we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six guys, five offensive linemen. Now, if you pay attention, 55 and 53 are pretending like they're bringing pressure, then they're going to drop. That hesitation makes this offensive line have to communicate. Now you look at the left guard. All right, the left guard is going to pinch down on the A gap, open up that B gap, allow this play to happen. A, B, boom. Make them communicate. Somebody's going to come open. I expect to see them do that against the Hawks this week. 
On this play, the Dolphins are gonna run a stunt. If you pay attention to that nose tackle, okay, he's gonna fake like he's going to the A gap. He's gonna wrap around and go to the B gap. You look at the linebacker who's walked up, he's gonna do the opposite. Fake like he's going to the B gap, wrap around to the A. Again, what's the theme? Make this offensive line have to communicate. You cause some confusion when you don't have a veteran line there. This is what they're doing. Nice little stunt, he walks up, hesitates, boom, shoots the A, shoots the B, have to bump over, whoops. Strip sack, cause confusion, work from there. When you're playing against Fitzpatrick, you have to be ready for anything. When he played with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he showed he can light up the scoreboard, 400 yards, 300 yards, and he showed that he's a competitor. He's not the most athletic guy, but he's athletic enough to get things done if the play breaks down. Let's take a look here. Puts his guy in motion, empty backfield. Feels pressure. He doesn't panic. His eyes are still down the field looking to make a play. Sees that nothing's there, tucks it, makes a guy miss, gets about 15, 20 yards, and gets down. He can do it with his arm. He can do it with his feet if he needs to. All right, that's what we expect out of the Miami Dolphins. Defensively, they're going to bring pressure. They're going to try to get after the quarterback. Yet, they are allowing 71% of passes completed on them. Also, allowing 400 yards in the run game. So, Russell Wilson should be able to air it out. They should be able to run the football. And that's been another film session with Michael Bumpus powered by Microsoft Surface. Let's see if these Hawks can go 4-0 this week.